consisting of 41 victories, including 31 knockouts. Ayala! Rally! Close. Play on that So here we go again in the division that brought you Pereira. Didn't want the belt after beating Morales from Super Bantamweight. He by Pereira. Morales in the white trunks will perhaps adopted a boxing style of recent. You're not looking to. Well schooled for his good right hooks and to that terrific first Barrera fight. You know, you just. That's where Ayala wants to be close in trying those short. Well, he's starting quite well, Ayala. He's aggressive. Morales not in time not to get too close too often. They're just getting the, the jab working a bit normally, pretty easy to hit. Well, it's got all the promise. Got an idea of what he can do, which is nothing. It's how you feel. In it. But Glenn and I thought Ayala shaded that opening session. But Ayala looks confident to me here. He does look confident. Once disputed, the other one. The spikes are notorious. Morales. Great action, I'm sure it landed flush from uh, Morales. The right hand has been a real honey by stoppage. Not Wayne McCulloch though, who's in a thriller with him. It's a big ask really for Ayala, who was a bantamweight. Six years older than the man in front of him. And making it work a bit more from range. Morales is round. So well, and you just saw some of the skills, some of his good work. Because the great, great fighters can move up through. Wasn't a bad world, almost as big in that area as the Dallas Cowboys, they tell me. Morales, not unless there's a huge upset. He has to be outworking him, doesn't he, for everything they've done in the ring. Morales getting a million pounds for this fight. Ayala's on eight. And Ayala at the moment just showing a reticence to get in range. Feel the extra weight in the punches. Don't underestimate Ayala's ability to... No supper cuts twice on the inside through Ayala. That's a fine left hand as well from Morales, who's not looking a bit tentative, not anymore. He's beginning to take control of this. Now, not so belligerent. <laughs> That's right, I think he gives Morales a little bit. He's lost, he's come close to losing a few other times, mind you. Korean Injin Chi, who was heroic that night and got cheered out to Morales. The Mandalay Bay here in Vegas. Muslim for Ayala. How to underestimate the intelligence of Ayala. It's his biggest asset. He's not going to let him do what he wants to do. Still, you can tell that Morales is looking for that right hand. Well, into this fight, his trainer Henry Mandis was saying he might be. Good little left hand on the inside. And oh, Morales, though. Suddenly goes to town right at Both the run, boring the last 10 seconds. He got the better point over and beating Nicky Booth of Nottingham. Good fighter he was. So. There for Morales in preparation for Ayala. Cautious and less powerful character as a nine star. With his jab and think things out. Well, it's probably the, the good tactics for Mor Morales. No, he's got to look. Well, this is good work with the left. Fascinating tactical battle as these high. Good body shots from Ayala. Yep. Look up. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Wasn't that a good shot? I reckon there's more than one of him. <laughs> and there's the, the right up. 8,000 fans in the Mandalay Bay. American audiences, by the way. Slam and I difference. John Keane, who gets some high profile appointments. Good left hand. Fight he needs to start to get the respect of Morales. Square on. And again. That will have woken up Morales. And needs to respect their touch glove after their heads bounce from the pair of them there. There's better ones for Morales. Oh. It's up a bit open. 
to these right hands and Morales will help himself. Stronger at the weight, it's showing. In the hands a little bit too much, Morales getting a bit overconfident. That looks good. Fierce of Viola, especially over the left eye, and we see. Seventh round, white trunks, remember. It was a non-title affair, by the way. So it's Camper saying he did. Well, that's the table fighter, Morales. In the build-up, I don't think um, Paulie Ayala has any... Spreads his arms out to say, OK, that all you got? To say, yeah, you're landing with a few, but you're not blasting. Now, this is good from Ayala. And, and again, and he's... In determination of Morales, look at him come back. He's been in... But always Morales who always just wants to get back and there Ayala just getting his uppercuts on a little bit more okay a little bit more move clean the puncher don't worry the judges are disagreeing about some of them too just he wants this fight very badly we both agree Morales is the last thing he needs is that left eye to close because then it'll make it even harder to see the three have gone the distance i'm sure he'd love to get a stoppage here there's no form looks like the best place for ayala is when he can get in close a good technician morale but all the time it's out there he's trying to get there now in close is it too much for ayala ayala trades with him but that's another Morales round, and I think it. Yes, I thought Morales won the, the, the last fight with Pereira. Problem. Here's round nine. It's in the fight, isn't having enough of them. How discouraging would that be for Ayala that he'd hit him? Probably that he is a big featherweight going on super. Once he can do it again and again. It's showing. Yes, it is now. The better punch is the strong. Being given some meaning in this contest, perhaps. Well, the fire of Ayala. But yeah, there may be a third meeting. Might sort that out. Unlike the Morales, Pereira, right? Hotel room in Vegas. Punch. He's a real, uh, a real joker, lovely guy. Ayala's pulling away. He did get that big left. Spraying under the arc lights. <laughs> Yeah. They pay him any extra for mopping up as well. He's doing the refereeing. I wonder how that high roller who put all those in the hope that they'll lose their money. He's in control of things at the moment on the scorecards. He's got well, punches from him as well, though, in this round. Right. He's outworking Morales. Oh, if only, if only he had a bit more. Just gone to sleep a little bit, and sometimes. Okay. So, so I think they do. The China. Get him to work. He's for he once. didn't. He, I think maybe it was a stage in the fight where he, he needed. <laughs> this is in a, a good lead, but. Well, that's what I mean. What you worry when that the big, the big money. Good stretch to a comfortable points win. One, so he knows he's got to really get four starts. He's beaten the likes of Daniel Zaragoza and Kevin Kelly and Anhel. What are you all? Now, this is good boxing at range by Morales, who is just shutting for Morales. Absorbing, and a few of the rounds have been memorable. Exposed, yes, it has. And, can... and some of the fans are on their feet, particularly Morales. That's five points ahead. And Morales looking the stronger of the two, up the tempo again. It's been the difference. Well, if Ayala has lost, right? Ayala and Wayne McCulloch. Now then, punches from Morales. Morales is, who knows what the crowd wants. And he's get straight right through the middle. Morales does not stop punching. Morales cannot get him out of there, though.
much as he dominated that. Well, they're thinking about him being shot, but they were. Yeah, he's a tremendous and uh, one from Nevada. Here we go now. Here it comes. Bert Clemens has it. 117 to 111. Morales gets it. And I was getting caught. I mean, he's a great champion, like I said.